Hi everyone. Today we are back at the Yokdurm Line Crossing in Sefer. My 44.78 on Bibala subdivision. And yeah, it's a beautiful day you can see here. Really quiet. You can really hear the birds singing and stuff like that. And today, I'm not alone because guess who's here with me? Hi guys. Yep, Ontario Railway Productions is there with me right now, you can see. <laughs> so, it's gonna be an interesting trip, that's for sure. He caught 107 before I did, so. Yeah, I had an XCREX and another Devo. Yes, yeah, so I unfortunately I missed 107 today, but at least it didn't have anything, in, anything interesting. Just an XCREX reader. And if you take a look down there for, signal, for San Francisco signal is red and heading north for North Bound signal is red. So we got nothing coming for now. So yeah, according to Ontario Railway Productions. We got four trains coming down here. Uh, there's going to be a meet. So 107 is going to meet two at Brecon and two at Smale. And we're going to see 114 and two. And then there's two other southbounds. Yeah, so... <laughs> So, we got four southbounds heading our way today, which is really awesome. Two of them being 114 and via number two. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get something interesting today. So, yeah. So, I'll pause over now until our first train shows up. And before we begin, please make sure you give this video a really big thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'll pause over now. See you in a bit. So all these trains were taken on Friday, April 26th. Alright, let's get into them. The first train we caught is CN Z114. Going from Winnipeg to Brampton. It was led by 2310 with a really awesome sounding K5HL horn. And the engineer gave us a horn salute. And trailing second is GECX 2037, which is a GFO. And that has 156 rail cars and 440 axles.
The next train we caught is CNQ-180, going from Prince Rupert, B.C. to Brampton. It was led by XCVX-3968 with a really powerful K5HL horn. And trailing second is 5708. And that has 169 rail cars and 480 axles. Here to explain the next train is Ontario Railway Productions. Take it away. The next train we caught is Via 2, heading from Vancouver to Toronto. It was led by 6418, which the engineer gave us a horn salute, and trailing second was 6414. And that has 14 passenger cars and 64 axles. CN Detector Ala. Four, seven, no alarms, temperature nine, C, total axle six, four, speed seven, one.
Now, here to explain for the next train is Ontario Railway Productions once again. Take it away. The next train we caught is CNQ-104, going from Rutherbanks, BC, to Brampton. It was led by 3080, and trailing second is 2822. And that has 163 rail cars and 460 axles. And if you're enjoying this video so far, then please make sure you give it a really big thumbs up. Just before the next train came, CN Rail Fan showed up. And not only after that, along came CN M314. Going from Winnipeg to Toronto. It was led by 3311, an AC44C6 and rebuilt Dash 9 with a really awesome setting K3L horn. It was originally 2631. And trailing second behind that is IC2710, a regular Dash 9. And that has 80 freight cars and 336 axles, including one random rail car behind the locomotives. And it was going into a separate siding to meet with CNQ185. So we've got a train meet here.
So going from Montreal to Prince Louis, B.C., Siang Q185 was led by 3086 with a really awesome sounding K5 feature horn. And for a real DPU, it's 3877, a 100 year anniversary G4. And that has 189 rail cars and 544 axles. Detector Ala 4 7. No alarms. Temperature 1 1. As 314 started to get into a Sephir siding, you can kinda hear 185 blowing through Cranesville side road.
Just then, 314 started to move. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this, um, several FM video. Because there's nothing else coming after the train mate happened. You can see that the Nerf Band signal is red. It's hard to see because it's old, but I can still see a little bit of red in there. And if you look to the south, it's also red. So basically, the signals are default right now. So we got nothing coming heading LA, unfortunately. Which Nighttime trains. Yeah, indeed. Like 313, 451, which is running later on this afternoon, 450, etc. So, yeah. But all in all, this was definitely a really great trip, fast for sure. And surprisingly, CN Q101 is not running today, which is really weird because normally it would be running before 185. But oh well. So, I guess 185 is going to be our only nerf bound of the day. Because I missed Key 107. But oh well. It is what it is. That being said. I really hope you enjoyed our trip to Sefer. On a really nice Friday day. You can see here. All in all. A nice time to go. If you enjoyed it. Then please make sure you give this video a really big thumbs up. 
and subscribe for more videos if you have it already. That will really help me out a lot. And also go subscribe to CM Rare Fan and um, Ontario Railway Productions. He he was here with me, but unfortunately he left after the train meet because there's nothing else coming. So I'm going to leave as well. So yeah. Anyways, until my next Rare Fan video, I will see you guys later. Peace out, folks, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And that will be it for me. Bye now. Have a nice evening. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, 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 everyone. I really hope you enjoyed our trip to Sefford today. If you enjoyed it, then please make sure to give this video a really big thumbs up. And subscribe for more Rare FM videos if you haven't already. That will really help me out a lot. And also, go subscribe to the following people. Unreal, yeah, so if you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description when I have a chance. Anyways, until my next Ray of Fin video, I will see you guys later. Peace out, folks, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And that will be it from all of us. See you guys. Yeah. Bye now. Oh.